Today is Monday, 15th of August, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is Recognize and Affirm Your Divinity. Our theme scripture is taken from John 3, verse 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Our opening verse isn't a promise, Pastor begins. It's a law. It's just like 2 Corinthians 5.17 that says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. This verse and our opening verse aren't promises from God, Pastor says. They are the sovereign declarations of God. Oh, glory to God. The one who is born again is a new creation. He or she has the life and nature of God. Being born again, your human life was supplanted by the life and nature of God. Now, your body houses a new type of life that's unsusceptible and impregnable to sickness or disease. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. If you don't know about this new life, Pastor says you'll never put it to work. You'll be living the human life when you have the divine life in you. Oh, praise God. So Pastor says learn to activate the divine life within you by declaring and personalizing the word of God. Remember, the greatest miracles are performed with words. I wish you'd understand the power and energy of your words. The Bible says in Isaiah 33 verse 24, And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. Why? It's because they've recognized and embraced their divinity. Glory to God. The Bible says in 2 Peter 1 verse 4, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. And now pastor goes on to say, you're an associate of a divine pantheon. You hail from above. Your origin is divine. Oh, no wonder Jesus said, isn't it written in your law? I've said ye are gods, according to John 10 verse 34. Glory to God. And affirm your divinity. Practice it. The Bible says the communication, the everyday expression of your faith, becomes effectual as you recognize and affirm who you are in Christ. That we can find in Philemon 1 verse 6. Hallelujah, Pastor concludes. Father, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Thank you, righteous Father, for your life in me. I'm divine, born to reign and rule in this world. My life is a testimony of your grace, glory, and greatness. I'm blessed and the dispenser of your blessings and your goodness. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, for further study, please read Philemon 1 verse 6, Psalms 87 verse 3, and 1 Corinthians 2, 12 to 13. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. 